it's easy to go to a gym and show somebody up, especially having been a competitive team natural bodybuilder for the last five years. There are many of you like me, many team bodybuilders and bodybuilders alike that are very strong in the gym, natural or not natural. It's easy for anyone to go in and throw on 315 and show your buddy what's good in the flat bench press. But what happens when your chest routine starts to wear out and you begin to plateau and you're not feeling or making the gains you were once making? You have to switch up your routine every few weeks, of course, and in doing that, that first week back into the new routine, you're not as strong as you normally are because you're not used to the lifts anymore. It's been a little while. So how do you make use of your full transition day without wasting the workout? And what happens if you're stuck here at home? I don't have heavy enough weights to do a normal chest workout, and I'll be getting a real chest workout with some top competitive bodybuilders in a real gym very soon. But this is a little trick I came up with. It's not a real chest workout. We're going very light, and we're keeping the pace up very fast with a higher volume. It's a shocker I came up with to transition. I haven't done any of these lifts in a few weeks now, almost months. And I'm going to be doing it at a much higher pace than I normally do. So check it out. Try this out and see if your chest doesn't feel a little different the following days. Okay, now after a few modest sets of the bench press, nothing too crazy because I don't have a spotter and the fact that I'm not trying to go too heavy, I'm transitioning. Now we're going to go into flat flies, okay? This is the shocker of it because normally you switch from flat to incline. We're going right from flat to flat, but two different movements. Starting off with 30s, very light, just to get myself warmed up. Because this can be a risky exercise if you're not warmed up. Now you just focus on the stretch, okay? You don't have to keep your arms 100% straight, but... Definitely squeeze. And you'll notice on the bench pressing and any exercise movement, I keep my back arched. But my butt and hips are flat on the bench, as well as my upper back and shoulders at all times. And that's okay. You want to roll your chest up in front of you. And that's how you get the squeeze without hurting your shoulders. Now move up to 40s. Same thing. Make sure you don't keep your arms completely straight. So if you're going completely straight on these, you can end up hyperextending your joints. And now we're using some painful homemade 60s, the heaviest dumbbells I have here. But like I said, we have to make do with what we have, and that's why I'm doing the shocker where I'm going from flat bench to flat flies. Now you won't need as much weight as you normally would because your chest is going through shock therapy at this point. How far you straighten your arms will depend on your own build and how you feel. Now I have very long arms for my body, so I have to keep them at a moderate level. I can't have them too straight, and of course I want to have them too curled in because it just becomes a press. So I have it just in between, and if it looks like my arms are being used a little bit too much, take my word for it that they are not at all. 
I get no sort of pump from these, and that's what you want to look for. Make sure you're not getting a pump in your arms, but instead your chest. And that's what's been working for me. So that's bench press and flies right together without stopping. That's fatiguing your middle chest. Okay, so now we're on the incline to hit the upper chest, which is a huge lacking point of most bodybuilders, okay? Now what we're going to do to continue the shocking process is instead of starting with the barbell press and then going to flies, we're going to start with flies and then go to dumbbell presses to keep the chest guessing completely, alright? So we're going to start off uh, once again with 30s. Just to get used to the movement, I feel that even if your muscles and joints are warmed up, you should always warm up with a lighter set at the beginning of every new exercise just to get used to the movement. My shoulders, my arms, my chest, everything's in a different position now, so so it works for me. Again, focus on the squeezing, not pressing. Elbows out. Once you get your joints used to the rhythmic of that, that angle, you're good to go. The whole point of this is to shock your muscles because we can't go heavy with lack of weights. So what you have to do is make sure you keep the volume up and keep your pace up with maybe just enough time to catch your breath and get a drink of water and that's it. So now pretty much without stopping in a sip of water we're going to transition right from incline flies to incline presses. Now like I said we don't have heavy enough weights here and as you can see I mean 60 pounds isn't even as heavy as I normally go on flies let alone pressing. But this is the fourth exercise, and doing it at a fast pace makes it so these will give us a nice good squeeze, and they won't be too late in this case. Again, 60 pound dumbbells. They're very hard on your hands thanks to my handyman work. We have light dumbbells like these, focus on squeezing at the top and slow contraction at the bottom. Squeeze that blood into your muscles. <sighs> 